Well, I've never encountered a lending library for art before. Borrowing art is unique for my personality because I am terrible at committing. It's a constant rotating gallery for me in my home. Never have I reborrowed a piece. I have my favorite artworks that I continuously borrow. You don't have to pay anything. You get it for three months. It's all original art. I'm probably going to end up buying it at the end because I just fell in love already. The Minneapolis Arts Lending Library is innovative. Fantastic. Awesome. Inclusive. Just so simple. Such a wonderful program. Kind of amazes me. It's one of my favorite things to do. The Minneapolis Art Lending Library is an alternative model for collecting and distributing artwork. The Twin Cities community has a unique opportunity to come and check out an artwork free of charge and keep it for a three month period. I've been a borrower for probably close to five years already. In fact, they started as a program in someone's apartment and I went to one of those early events. So I've been introduced to it for a very long time. The Minneapolis Art Lending Library was uh, founded by Larson Husby, Mac Ballantyne and Julia Caston. And they had actually visited Europe, done a study abroad trip, and went to all these art lending libraries and thought it was a really unique idea and that they wanted to bring it to Minneapolis. A couple years ago, we developed a partnership with the Minneapolis Parks and Rec Board. So we've had a lot of lending events at the Parks and Rec spaces throughout Minneapolis. You're coming to a community event that's hosted at, you know, either a public park space or like the library tonight, and it's both communal and speaks to something more than ourselves. Having a lending event at the Minneapolis Central Library, it's an opportunity for us to try to tap into some new communities here in this vibrant city. So many times, you know, across the country even, the art is in these big intimidating buildings and mall just does something unique in bringing it to where people already are. It offers and makes art really accessible for everybody. It gives you a connection to the people in the community that you might not get in another way. And so it's a nice way to experience art that I've never encountered before. Having an artwork in your home is an experience and it's an experience that everyone should have if they'd like. By having an artwork in your home for a three month period, you are able to really understand someone else that maybe is outside of your particular world. Mm -hmm.